Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's June 14th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of June 14th, 2024, Opal Fuels Incorporated is currently trading at a value of $4.50 per share. Forum Energy Technologies is at $17.23 per share. Brookfield Renewable Core ended the day at $30.06 per share. Black Hills Core is currently sitting at $52.54 per share. And Nextera Energy, last but not least, is currently trading at a value of $73.06 per share. But moving into the news, first up, the EPA, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration all came together this week to release what they are calling the, quote, National Strategy for Reducing Food Loss and Waste and Recycling Organics. This is part of the whole-of-government approach they are taking to tackle climate change, feed people, address environmental justice issues, and promote a circular economy. U.S. Agriculture Secretary Tama Vilsack said, quote, The USDA is committed to reducing food loss and waste, facilitating many programs and activities to assist farmers, producers, communities, and businesses. This national strategy charts a course to reduce our nation's food loss and waste by 50% by 2030, and I am proud of the actions outlined for the USDA and our federal partners. Everyone has a role to play in reducing food loss and waste, and I hope those federal commitments will inspire and catalyze action in the private sector and communities around the U.S. End quote. And up next, we have a couple big acquisitions to talk about. First up, Terracon, an employee-owned engineering consulting firm, announced this past week it has acquired Rhode Island-based Sage Environmental and Sage Envirotech Drilling Services. As a leading provider of environmental services, Sage offers its clients services including assessment through remediation, redevelopment, permitting and regulatory compliance, health and safety, environmental and geotechnical drilling, and specialized remedial injections. Rick Mandiel, the owner of both Sage Environmental and Sage Envirotech Drilling Services, said, quote, Now that we've joined Terracon, our clients will continue to benefit from the expertise and creative solutions they've come to expect from Sage over these past 28 years, while also enjoying expanded access and support from Terracon's regional and national resources and multidiscipline services, end quote. And as for the other acquisition, Certified Waste Solutions, a provider of vertically integrated managed waste services, announced this past week it has acquired Waste Control Associates Incorporated. Founded in 2010 and based in Cosa Mesa, California, Waste Control also provides managed waste services, but also outsourced recycling services and related equipment to a diverse set of customers across Southern California. The company is sustainability-oriented and focused on simplifying vendor management and creating custom waste management plans for customers in multifamily property, manufacturing, food service, and healthcare, among other sectors. Certified Waste Solutions CEO Shane Caswell said, quote, We are excited for the waste control team to join us at Certified. This acquisition aligns perfectly with our strategic growth plan as we continue our commitment to excellence in valued services for our customers, end quote. And up next, the FDA has officially approved the use of Pure Cycle Technologies Pure 5 Ultra Pure Recycled Resin for use in food applications. The FDA sent a letter of no objection to the company, which itself expanded upon a previous no objection letter, confirming that the FDA considers Pure 5 Ultra Pure Recycled Resin to be suitably pure for use in contact with all food types, from frozen food storage to microwavable packaging. Other potential applications could even include cosmetics and personal care packaging. The expansion provides Pure Cycle with the same conditions of use for Pure 5 recycled resin as virgin polypropylene, a widely used packaging material. 
And just a reminder, Recyclist is a trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. And up next, Savannah Bioenergy, a developer and operator of large-scale renewable natural gas facilities, announced this past week the successful acquisition of the Rialto Bioenergy Facility in Rialto, California. The Rialto Bioenergy Facility has a designed capacity to convert organic waste streams into 1 million metric meter BTUs of carbon negative RNG per year, an amount equivalent to the carbon dioxide emissions from over 5.2 million gallons of diesel fuel consumed. John McKinney, the CEO of Savannah Bioenergy, said, quote, The Rialto Bioenergy Facility is a strategic asset that aligns perfectly with Savannah Bioenergy's mission to accelerate the production of RNG. This acquisition strengthens our presence on the West Coast and allows us to continue playing a vital role in helping California achieve its ambitious renewable energy and waste diversion goals. End quote. And up next, the landmark partnership of Archaea Energy and Republic Services are celebrating their first renewable natural gas plant. The Archaea Modular Design Plant at Republic's National Serval Landfill in Fort Wayne, Indiana, is the first of approximately 40 landfill gas to RNG projects targeted by the joint venture and is scheduled to come online summer 2024. Archaea Energy CEO Starley Sykes said, quote, from the start, our focus has been on opening plants safely and reliably, as well as demonstrating progress and growth. The Fort Wayne plant is just the beginning of our incredible partnership with Republic Services to capture landfill emissions and provide customers with lower emission, lower carbon fuel. End quote. And speaking of new RNG plants at Republic Services sites... Amerisco has started commercial operations at its latest renewable natural gas plant, which is expected to reduce about 12,000 tons of carbon emissions annually. The renewable natural gas facility is located at Republic Services Brickyard Landfill in Danville, Illinois. Amerisco has now completed 12 renewable energy projects with Republic Services, with 10 more currently in permitting or construction phases. The executive vice president of Amerisco, Michael Backus, said, quote, Creating clean energy, reducing harmful emissions, and making a tangible impact on the environment towards a carbon-neutral future depends on collaboration. Through our long-term partnership with Republic Services, we were able to create a dispatchable baseload resource at the Brickyard Landfill. This will turn waste into a reliable source of renewable energy and provide tremendous resiliency to enhance our nation's security of supply for the years to come. End quote. And lastly, a fun little story to end on, as Divert Incorporated, an impact technology company on a mission to, quote, protect the value of food, and Safeway, the leading banner operated by Albertsons Companies, announced results from the implementation of Divert's optimization solution to reduce wasted food and accelerate food recovery efforts. In three months, Safeway increased its food donations by 20%, reducing the edible food going to waste by an average of 1,252 pounds per store per month. Through leveraging Divert's proprietary data and identifying root causes of wasted food from an operational perspective, Divert has empowered the retailer to improve its food donation program. Carl Schroeder, the president of Safeway's Northern California division, said, quote, Safeway is committed to help put food on the table to nourish our neighbors in need. Divert is a critical partner in helping us increase our food recovery efforts, sharing strategies and key insights across our business to drive immediate results. We value their tailored, collaborative approach to food recovery. End quote. And that has been your weekly news roundup for June 14th, 2024, brought to you by Recyclist, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.